What's happening guys, Keith here with another edition of the Impact Report. So if you haven't checked out my Impact review from this past week, you could do so by clicking the link above my head, and let's get right into things. So this past week's Impact drew 365,000 viewers, its best viewership in 6 months, and ranked 123 on Cable's Top 150. Uh, they put on a really enjoyable show this week that built towards Crossroads next week, which they always deliver on their monthly specials, so I'm looking forward to that. Um, so, obviously, they put on something good, so the internet needed to, well, complain about something, and obviously that was the bat incident. They basically chastised Sammy Callahan about it. Um, some people were even complaining that Impact aired the footage, and had Impact not aired the footage, these same people would have probably been complaining about that. Um, but this really created buzz for Impact Wrestling. I mean, TMZ Sports even interviewed Eddie about the situation. But in all reality, uh, behind the scenes, it was said that Callahan felt terrible about the accident and was very emotional about the situation. But once he got in front of the camera, he got into character and did his thing. Because at the end of the day, it is entertainment and the show must go on. I mean, regardless if the feedback's positive or negative, it's still creating a buzz around Impact Wrestling. Was it a terrible thing that happened? Of course. Was it avoidable? Yes. But he's done the spot in Lucha Underground and it went well. But, you know, sometimes these things happen. And that's kind of what Eddie said during his interview with TMZ is that, you know, this is the realistic thing about the business. I mean, some things are scripted, but... Anything that happens in the ring is real. So regardless if, like I said, people are saying negative or positive things about it, it's creating buzz for the company. And it's just like YouTube. You like a video, you dislike a video, it, it doesn't matter. It's still showcasing your stuff. But let's move on from that. So last night, they taped the one-night-only pay-per-view in conjunction with Border City Wrestling called March Breakdown. Uh, this should air March 16th on the Global Wrestling Network. From uh, the pictures I saw online, the place was packed, and it was said to be a sold-out crowd. Uh, all the action looked good. I'm looking forward to that. And today, they taped the Last Chancery uh, special in conjunction with Destiny Wrestling, which will air on Twitch this coming Friday, March 9th, uh, probably at 8 p.m. Yeah, this was really a positive week for Impact. Um, so this past Tuesday, we learned that Impact Wrestling will be joining Rise Wrestling and International Wrestling Cartel to prevent, to prevent, to present Rise, Lights, Camera, and Action, The Art of TV on May 11th and 12th. Uh, May 11th will be the first Rise LCA seminar and is focused in developing women wrestlers in areas specific to performance in a television environment. Um, a wide variety of topics will be covered in this day seminar by Jimmy Jacobs, Sanjay Dutt, Gail Kim, and Scott Demore. So Impact Wrestling's finest will be there. And on Mar May 12th, uh, they will tape several episodes of Rise Ascent, their newly weekly episodic program that will debut later in the month of May exclusively on their streaming platform, riseascent.com. Uh, so an even bigger opportunity lies on the horizon for one talent, as one of the women wrestlers featured on Rise Ascent will be selected for an opportunity to perform for Impact Wrestling at an upcoming set of television tapings. Uh, the main event for Episode 1 is scheduled for IWC Women's Champion Britt Baker versus Tessa Blanchard. So this is a fantastic opportunity for Impact Wrestling to build their knockouts division. Um, it, yeah, this is great. I can't see really a negative in this at all. Uh, great for them to be building a partnership with another company. And speaking of partnerships with other companies, we have found out that at WrestleCon, it will be Lucha Underground versus Impact Wrestling. Uh, and this will be streaming live on Impact's Twitch page. This was the fantastic news. Um, has created a lot of dream matches for people. Uh, they actually spoke with Ned or uh, Ed, Ned Nordholm, Ed Nordholm, uh, and he said, "We are excited and honored to expand our partnership with AAA and Twitch for this groundbreaking co-promotion with Lucha Underground. Extensive coverage from WrestleCon will stream live all weekend on Impact Wrestling's official Twitch channel, as fans will have the opportunity to interact with their favorite stars." 
And then Dorian said, we are excited to partner with Impact Wrestling for this very special and unique event. We are also very excited to bring Lucha Underground to fans at WrestleCon for the first time. We think this is a great opportunity for both Impact Wrestling and Lucha Underground to put on a great show for all the wrestling fans who will be lot, who will be in New Orleans. So I believe Impact Wrestling had said, well, with uh, Lucha Underground, that the people who purchase tickets for the first two rows will have an exclusive meet and greet before the show, and those tickets are sold out. Um, like I said, this is huge. Um, it's, Impact really needed to do something big during WrestleCon because there's a lot of great stuff happening and I, I think this just th this is really they really hit it out of the park with this one and I am looking forward to that very much people have been creating their own dream matches uh and last but not least this past week Tyrus was on the Impact Wrestling teleconference um he talks about needing to take time off to get his mind straight but now he is back and focused on championship gold um he had originally left Impact Wrestling, I believe, during the GFW merger because of he had some bad blood with GFW. But uh, he is an over-the-tag team thing and wants to break out on his own. He also mentioned that once the announcement was made that Impact would be under new management, both sides reached out to each other immediately. I think he said within 15 minutes of each other, they both had emailed uh, each other wanting to work together. And uh, he said he has a lot of respect for Ed Nordholm and likes that Impact is so supportive of his outside projects and allows him more freedom. Um, yeah, li like I said, this has been a really good news week for positive news for Impact Wrestling, minus the whole fiasco with the bat incident. But obviously we wish Eddie Edwards a full and speedy recovery. And uh, it'll be interesting to see how this plays out on Impact in the coming weeks. So that is all I have for you guys today, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks, guys. Bye.